Sally. What about this? What day is it, Davey? Thursday. Thursday. And we're just leaving care centre, me and Davey. Uh, we're going to collect a green certificate off a lady. Let's turn that up because yeah. it's private confidential information on that and GDPR are very strict regarding that. We're going to an address to pick a green certificate up off a lady whose husband's died. And then we're going to the Northern to bring some people into care including this gentleman whose uh, wife we're just going down to see now down at somewhere called Darnell near Sheffield then we're going to shoot across at Northern in general hang on a minute now they know Ema I'm sorry babe listen all women say the same to me story of my life <laughs> That's a Lima, one of the lasses in community. I grew up with a Lima from being a kid. Uh, she needed a suitcase. I'll let you into the secret because she's going away on holiday. And I said, I've got a suitcase. Uh, I don't use it much, so I can have that anyway. She just says, Thanks, Bo, but it's too Bobo's my nickname. Uh, and she just says, Thanks, Bo, but it's too small. And that's why I said it's the story of my life. I was joking. <laughs> Be all off Facebook now. Be all off Facebook now. Ah. Right, anyway, we're off. And I've been up since half past one. In fact, I watched the sun come up this morning. I watched sunrise. I'm watching some foxes playing on garden. And it got me thinking, because I weren't in a right good place with my head. Uh, but then I thought, there's a lot of people who would love to watch sunrise this morning. Babby Fox is playing on garden. So I were a bit down. But, you got to snap out of it if you can, aren't you? That's the thing. Anyway, talking of being down. Morning, Dave. Morning, Michael. It's cheered you up when you saw me, though, didn't it? Cheered me right up, honestly, seriously. Because, I mean, he's got a face only a mother could love. Oh, right. But my best mate's inside of me. Uh, well, sadly, my best mate's in our care, John. Yeah. Yeah. And Westy. Wesley weren't the best mate, but a kid who I've known all my life who we're looking after, Paul. Great nice lad. Never heard him say oh, bad about anybody. Always so good in people. A nice kid, Wes. They really were. So looking after him as well, but John, my best mate, we cared him for John at the moment. So I think that's what gets me down after a bit. You know, it's just, People say fuel directors don't, it can't bother you because you deal with it all day, every day. But it does get to you. It gets to us because how can it not? Dealing with people's grief all the time. If it don't get to you, you shouldn't be doing a job really. Do you hear that? If it don't get to you, you shouldn't be doing And he's right, he is 100% right. You do it from R, it does get to you. So, off we go to Darnell. This lady's chomping at bit because uh, obviously she needs her husband in care. So that's why she's been at registrar yesterday. And that's why we've decided well, we'll come to you, we'll pick the green certificate up. And then we'll uh, go straight to hospital. Oh, you're all having a lovely day. Weather's a bit kinder. It's 17 in Sheffield at the moment, uh, and there's a little cool breeze in the day. There is, yeah. This isn't the uh, eh? which we're thankful for. Yeah. We're thankful for, yeah. This isn't the uh, weather 
channel by the way this is a funeral director's channel because uh, I'm Mick Fogg and I'm an independent funeral director and I'm based in Sheffield we were hoping a funeral director from Leeds yesterday what we're doing a service what were you called? it was called Simon. Begin with yes anyway, didn't yeah, it? Yeah. Anyway, they're based in Leeds and uh, they got a funeral in Sheffield for a lady who used to live in Sheffield and she wanted cremated in Sheffield. So family went to this undertaker in Leeds who they use independent funeral director. It's a woman's name. Cap Jane. Is it Jane? Jane. Jane Verita. Jane Verita. So they rang us and said, we'd like you and your team to help us on service so they don't have to bring bearers. And uh, of course we'll help. So they've sent a lovely email as well for today, thanking us. Thanking us, yeah. So that's lovely. Because uh, that's what it's all about, helping people, helping each other. Now you're thinking you didn't know what to say, aren't you? Well, I'll tell you something you're thinking, mate, I don't know what to say. Uh, it's a priority bringing loved ones in together. That's why we've got a bank of fridges. A lot of funeral directors have three or four racks in one fridge, and we don't, or they don't even have a fridge. They have a chiller room uh, with racks. But there's no dignity, is there? There's no privacy in no no racks. Privacy, no. None whatsoever. Terrible. That's how they do it. Uh, it's a cheaper way to do it. We have proper banks of fridges. So, anyway, get this gentleman to care this morning. Then I'm out on a funeral. Well, we both are on a funeral. I think we're 11 o'clock, aren't we? Yeah, 11 o'clock at City, uh, City Road. City Road. Uh, for a lady. So, anyway, I'm going to get going now and wish you all a very good day we'll put so i didn't put no one yesterday because my head were all on i weren't in a right good place yesterday although i did have some brilliant news yesterday absolutely it's a mixture of emotions news because i'm ecstatic because something's going to stop but i'm sad because of the way that it's had to be stopped I'm not going to go on about it too much yet, but uh, I, I'm uh, coping with that. I think that's what my head's all over the place at minute far, because you shouldn't have to get to that stage where you have to take action like you do, but it's, it's the only way to sort things out. Great, have a good day. I'm going and I will catch you all later. Keep your mental health up. All right, tell out everybody.